as you may know, Hypercasual is a very data-driven market. So on this market, you want to make sure that you focus as a developer on the right KPIs, on the right things. And so, well, to put it simply, the hypercasual business model can be summed up by a typical CPI versus uh, LTV fight. And so the question is, uh, well, how much does it uh, cost me to acquire a player, to convince a player to install my game versus how much will that generate uh, that player generate once he's in the game? And so since hypercasual is mainly at based in terms of economy, the question here is how long will the player uh, keep on playing? Uh, first during one day, but also on the long run. So playtime and retention are crucial. And on this time period, uh, what will be the, the, how will I monetize him? So what will be the ad frequency? How many rewarded videos will I be able to, to push to show him? Uh, but in the end, yeah, the CPI is really the, the key metric in the hyper casual because one CPI, uh, one cent of CPI saved uh, is one cent of profitability. And thus it's a very, it's a, yeah, the, the basic, and that's why we want to test the CPI as fast as possible. So that's it for the first part on the fundamentals. Now the idea is to jump on the core of this presentation to give you a better understanding of the market evolution. And first, to start with a very macro trend, uh, it's interesting to, to see that the market is actually splitting in two directions. Uh, Hypercasual is splitting in two directions. On one side, you have ultra casual, uh, ultra casual games, which are even more hyper casual than typical hyper casual games. Uh, almost semi contemplative experience like interactive videos. Uh, you have a lot of um, a lot of uh, ASMR games, simulation games, uh, which are on this segment, and on the other side you have what we call deep hyper casual games, uh, where you have on the contrary um, maybe games that are targeting a well a smaller audience, uh, but with the uh, with the more retention and uh, and uh, monetization tools. So this is the the current. Uh, the current split that we're seeing. To put it very simple, ultra casual benefit from extremely low CPI, uh, but usually struggle a bit on the long-term retention, while deep hyper casual games uh, benefit from higher retention, but also higher CPIs. I'm, 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 I'm.